homemade gun day. So I'll get a quick overview. Um, it was 1911 is the first one I made. Uh, the company is not around anymore that made the uh, made these receivers, lower receivers. Um, it's kind of cool. You CNC machine two halves and uh, have them brazed together. Pretty freaking solid. This sucker's heavy. But it's a 45. I'm gonna run out of ammo. I beat the shit out of somebody with it. Um, pretty much all you had to do with this one is just uh, cut the rails and hand fit the parts like you would a custom uh, 1911 anyway. Trigger still a little needs some work on it, but that was the first one I got done. I did some ARs and 80 percent. Um, I got one out here. I got a couple more, but I stole parts out of them. So that's a 80 percent casting from back in the day. This is a 22 pistol, big big sucker. Uh, as far as another 22 pistol goes, here's here's a Ruger clone. Um, you can buy the grips and everything like this, the bottom piece here. Um, it's not the receiver, the receiver's the top part. So I got some metal tubing and just pretty much milled it out on my lathe with the uh, milling attachments. So you got a little crazy there, but it works fine. Um, other handguns, the Glocks, these are Polymer 80. You know, just drill some holes and do some hand fitting. This uh, nine millimeter, and this is a 40 Smith and Wesson. Look at that sucker sticking up like that. I wonder if that's even gonna work. We'll find out. My Mac 11 clone, my wonderful welding on it. That sucker is a beast. So that's one of my worst handguns I own. That thing is like there's a pound of metal slamming back and forth, and every time you pull the trigger, I did 10.22 receiver. I got a 1022 I did here. Uh, this one works great. I love it. Um, uh, AK for coyotes. Ah, across the river, but um, the AK74, a Bulgarian parts kit. It uh, has a cool little round. 5.45 by 39. Um, this sucker is accurate, pretty good, uh, with that muzzle brake on it, re uh, I think it's a Tapco or something. It works pretty good, v very minimal uh, muzzle rise or recoil. So it's a pretty cut up parts kit. Um, the receiver, and this receiver for this AK-47, uh, flat piece of metal, I had to make a jig and bend it, make the other tools to do the riveting, you know, do the rivets on. See, that's nasty right there. I literally used a big hammer to assemble them. And there's an AK-47. Uh, I built a pistol first out of it, uh, welded on a um, muzzle extension, put a folding stock on it so it's a rifle carbine now. But since I did a pistol first, I can go back and uh, make it a pistol again if I want to because I have weird, weird laws. And then here's my latest one. It was a, my 300 Blackout that I... Did some drunk artwork on. Uh, I got an aim point on it now. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna re-zero it. So this is a pistol. That's a brace. So we're gonna. That's my 30 caliber little thumper there. Yeah, that thing's nice. Um, so those are my my freedom guns. You know, you can walk into the store and buy one, but if you're handy, you can make them yourself. And they're not really, you know, there's not really any cost benefits. Just I like making stuff. So I'm gonna blast these all the day and then go in the house and get drunk and clean them. Or just get drunk and clean them tomorrow. Because I don't think we work tomorrow. Fuck, I hope not.